Hello, hello, my friends. I hope that you are all doing well. Today, I want to tell you about the name of my channel. You know, the former name of my channel was called China Nonstop. Nonstop. And, and several of you, you ask me, oh, what does nonstop mean? Nonstop. And now I change it to George Nonstop. And nonstop, uh, in fact, it really makes sense. It really makes sense. And it's something that you have to understand about China. So there's two aspects. One aspect is China is always changing, so it never change. It ne always, always change. It always change. When I first arrive in China, okay, it's poor, and then it's developing. Everything is changing. If you go, uh, even some local Chinese people, they will go abroad and they see, okay, this place, I, uh, everything changed. They build new buildings, they build new roads. Uh, here was the countryside, and now it becomes a, it becomes a huge city. Okay, I, I, I need to go away because my, my kids make too much noise. And um, so that's one aspect China is always changing okay uh, and the people are also changing okay everything is changing the other aspect is you cannot stop it non-stop you cannot stop China and and there is and and that's something that you hear all the time in China you say um, everything is possible nothing is impossible there is a solution for everything if you go to China you will hear this people will tell you this oh there is a solution for everything don't worry, everything is possible in China. They will tell you this all the time. And then there's some things you have to understand. And so it's, it, it, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. And that's not something that uh, I, I told you quite often. When you live in China, you think, oh, I have a lot of freedom. Yeah, uh, you can do whatever you want uh, in China. It's like there is no law. There is no regulation. And it's, everything is possible. Yeah, I can spit on the floor. Yeah, I can be on the, on the street and I can shut. People are not going to be judgmental. Uh, anyway, uh, in a, they are not going to be judgmental, you know. So everything is possible. <laughs> everything is possible. Uh, nobody can stop you, you know. Uh, and that's true. And when you go to China as a foreigner, you also can open a business. It's quite easy to open a business. You come there. Oh, you want to open a restaurant? You just open the restaurant. Oh, uh, you come as a big company. You just you just need the right network, and you need the money and the network, the power. If you have the power, everything is possible. And that's also something that this is something that that you can see today. And that's the big issue with China. There is no morality. There is no morality. There is no empathy. There is no limits. There is no law. Uh, uh, there is no rule. There is no win-win. There is no, uh, I will help you, I have to give you this, I have to give you that. There is nothing. There is nothing. There is just the harmony. The harmony. The, the, um, the social harmony. Okay? And the harmony, what does it mean? It, mean, it just means that you have the social hierarchy, like in the Middle Age. Huh? Like in the, the Middle Age France. You have the king at the top, and then you have the nobleman, and then you have everyone as his position in the society. But there is, there is no rule. There is no rule. The only rule is power! Power! If you, Chinese people respect power. Chinese people respect money. Because quite often, money equals power. But money is not the only thing that matters. The money and the network. That's the two things that matter. And that's why I said China non-stop. Non-stop because everything is possible. There is a solution for everything. And in fact, when you talk with Chinese people, they will always tell you this and they think, Oh, it's so great. China is so great. <laughs> there is a solution for everything. Oh, it's so great. It's so nice. It's so good. No, it's not good. It's not positive that there is a solution for everything. It just means that there is no law, there is no rule, there is no morality, and it's a society that has no empathy and, and there is no, no limits. No limits. Yeah? Um, you can kill someone, you can lie, uh, you can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. The only thing that will uh, give you the limitation is uh, the face. You shouldn't lose face. But uh, it's okay, uh, you know, if you are the winner, winner takes all. If you are the winner, uh, you, will, you will not lose face because you are the winner. If you are the more powerful, you can say whatever you want. You are the one who writes his story. Uh, it doesn't matter that you kill people, that you... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, okay? And the, the one who reach the top, of course, they are the worst in this kind of situation. Uh, is it the same in the West? No, it's not the same. Is it the same? I shouldn't say in the West. I, I can only talk about France. But I think in the US it's the same. No, there is, there is limitation. You have to respect some rules. You have, you have the win-wins. You have some kind of morality. Uh, some, some countries have religion. And that's how it is. So, uh, oui, oui. Okay, okay, je termine. Je...
Okay, and um, what do I think now? Um, I just tell you before, it was the Ruko system. And the Ruko system, okay, it's, it's, uh, it's what you see. And then the people who will be like, yeah, yeah, do you know who I am? Do you know how powerful I am? Do you know who you're talking to? The sex, the sex mentality. And on, uh, what's funny is that um, on the outside, uh, in some situation, people will pretend, oh, I'm a cool guy, I'm a nice guy, <laughs> no worry, take it easy, and people are going to take it easy. But on, on some other uh, occasion, then you have to push it, and you say, hey, hurry up, hurry up, and then it will work out. If you don't push it, things are not going to work out. But as I explain to you quite often, on one side, you need to push people, and then on the other side, you need to give, to be like the cool guy. Okay, hurry up, do this. Ah, you did a good work. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad. I'm glad you did it. So you don't hurt people feeling, you don't make them lose face. On one side, I push you and I show you that I'm higher in the social hierarchy than you. But on the other side, I'm going to behave in a nice way and hey, 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 and, and, and laugh and smile and give you a little present or make you feel good. And that's how things are. Uh, what, what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, it's, do, 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 you know? Am I being judgmental toward this uh, cultural behavior because it's always about the culture? Uh, not really. I'm not saying it's bad. I just say it's different. It's different. I don't find this in France. I don't believe in this. I believe in basic human rights. I believe in people being equal. But I understand in China is different. And in France for a long time, it was the same as in China. I can tell you even when I was a kid. So that was maybe in 1990. I was 10 years old. I remember very clearly I would go to the countryside with my father. And some farmers, they would like behave in the way that Chinese people behave. Uh, they, they will be like, oh, that's the guy from Paris. Hello, sir. Oh, he come from Paris. What, what do you think about this? And they, they will look up at you. They will look up at you. This guy, he, uh, he uh, did some really high studies. He has, he has a very top job in Paris. Uh, he's someone who knows. He has the knowledge. They look up at you because you come from Paris, because you have a top job, because you studied for uh, five years, six years. They look up at my father, you know, and my father would discuss with these guys who were farmers farmers from father to son in the countryside and it's a way he would feel committed to them how I need to give them because they are just the farmers and yeah in China it's like this like there is a duty you have a more you have a duty not a moral duty but you have a duty everyone has his position and you see the perception of these guys they were like I on one side they will feel equal but I don't think they will really feel equal they say oh, I'm just I'm just a farmer I, I didn't do any studies uh, I live in the countryside you know they would not feel they would not feel the, the same, you see. Uh, so it's like this in China. People also feel this way. So oh, after all, I didn't do studies. After all, um, he's a foreigner. He knows better. Or he comes from Beijing. He knows better. Or he's like this. It's normal. Or he's rich. It's normal. That's just the perception. Now, you know, when you have today the, the system of social credit that everybody say, there was the big brother system that tells people what to do and gives you a value and tell you, you didn't, you smoke, you shouldn't smoke, so you lose credit. Uh, you cross the road and you did this, so you lose credit. Uh, you say this, so you lose credit. You do this, so... Uh, is it bad? Yeah, it's bad because someone decides instead of you. You are not a free man. There is someone at the top who decides. But uh, in China, maybe it's good because that's what people are accustomed to, you know? This kind of uh, kingdom. You have the king at the top, middle-aged, filled, filled all society. And people like this, they want this. It's already, it's already, the things are already here. This is already the reality of the society and the reality of the culture. It doesn't change anything for Chinese people. Nothing change. Nothing change. People respect the authority. They respect the social order and they want the unity. That's what they want, the harmony, the social order. And that's okay. And everyone must obey to his duty. Even you are at the top and you misbehave. Oh, you broke the duty or you behave this way or that way. The social order is also broken. So you have, and of course, at the top of everything, there is the king or there is the emperor. And the emperor, he, he controls this a little bit, but it doesn't mean he can do everything that he wants. He also has a duty. He also has some kind of duty. So. Yeah, that's how things are. Uh, of course, I don't believe uh, I don't believe in this for French people, but it's all about the level of education and the people and how you perceive yourself. You know, uh, uh, so it's uh, a specific culture, specific society. And I, I always said, and I even did this on the T-shirt: culture is everything. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe culture is not everything. Maybe we should go beyond our culture. But going beyond the culture is impossible because culture is part of us, and we don't even notice the culture is part of us. Huh? And sometimes uh, I tell myself, yeah, maybe the way to be a kind of above human is someone who has no culture. It's no no string, no culture, no country, nothing. Yeah? Uh, but of course, this is. Um, 
I don't think this can this this is no no reality. At least at the individual level, maybe this can be one individual that goes beyond his culture uh, and is able to go beyond his, his his identity and change identity. But at at the group level, that nah, this cannot be. And and we are limited because of the race. Because how you look like, people will put you in a specific way. Oh, you you are like this. You are a farmer, or you are black. You are like this. And oh, you are you are Asian. You are like this. And then you will be you will be yeah. Uh, let me leave you. A bientôt, les amis.